Designing switchboards in the Galaxy program is done in our design part of the program, where we are working in five main groups with menus in each group with items we can insert. We can start by inserting a frame, 10 by 11 by 3, with a plinth. In all these menus, we can always choose a lot of additional items that can be used if necessary. Inserting is done by clicking and thereby we have inserted now a group of items that can be seen in the item with pictures and descriptions. I can divide up my switchboards in columns with barriers, quick and easy, like this. I continue my design throughout the menus, inserting busbar systems, inserts, and so on throughout the design. During the design, you're always able to edit and change the configuration of one of your inserted items. You can change the size and other specifications for each individual item in your design. We finish the design by adding some coloring onto the switchboard and the design is finished. And I can save. And when saved, I open the opportunity to create an export file for 3D or for C electrical. I simply just press the button and the file will be generated and saved in a predefined folder. A panel designed in Cubic Galaxy software can be imported in C Electrical 3D via this button here. Simply locate the output file from Galaxy and press open, then wait. Once loaded, a fully intelligent enclosure has been loaded into the C electrical drawing. Looking into the Explorer, you see the entire structure of the entire closure here, with all the elements in here. The reason that this went well is that prior to the import, Cubic has created and implemented an enormous amount of symbols into the symbol library that is actually used during the import. This allows us to design each symbol, each element, each part the way we want with all the block planes, with all the machinings, whatever is necessary for us to continue the design, adding all the electrical components and wiring. Next step is to Design or lay out your cabinet the way you want it by inserting all the necessary root paths, gene rails, and cable ducts necessary for this design. And as all the elements already are intelligent, like rails are rails, we can easily start manipulating those via the explorer here and say, show all, for instance, hide all, except select it and perhaps add a cable duct on the rear side here. When all cable ducts and root paths and perhaps additional Dean rails have been inserted, it's time to add the electrical components from the external source. Simply locate the workspace and load it. Then insert all the components as desired, and um, then you're ready for wire ruling.
The final thing to do before focusing on output is routing all the wires. Simply right click in the wires pane or nets pane and select root all nets. Once this is done, take a quick check to see how it looks. Simply hide all the panel doors and see all the wires being routed in here. Now focus in on outputs. As we can see here, this panel door here has some push buttons inserted. It's possible now to take this door and generate any kind of drill hole output necessary depending on the equipment you have. Like so, for instance. Wires 2. Take it to the wires mode. Right click and export for machining. Give it a name. The last thing to do is focus on the documentation part using the report designer and the documentation designer within 3D Panel Plus Plus.